Okay. So seat yourself in your comfortable way, like we usually do. And let's start with our deep inhalations. Let's start deep inhaling through the, through the nose. Exhale, release through your nose or through your mouth, wherever you prefer. You can close your eyes for a moment. Bring your chin slightly close to the chest. Keeping your shoulders down and relaxed. So relaxing the muscles of your face. Relax your lower back and feel your hip bones rounded. Relax the knees, the hips. Rest your hands on top of your lap or on your knees, wherever you feel comfortable. So you can relax your elbows and your shoulders. Try to clear your mind and bring your attention just to your breathing. If you have any particular intention to set it up for your practice, focus your practice on, bring it into your mind, into your thoughts. And if not, we're going to practice poses to feel more grounded. So may our practice help us feel grounded and that will help us to feel more stable. Inhale deeply through your nose, exhale and release. And let's start inhaling together for one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, chin close to your chest. And slowly exhale for four, three, two, one, start again, keep inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold all your breath and bring your chin close to your chest, exhale slowly for four, three, two, one, release all the air out of your body. And start again. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, chin close to your chest. And exhale slowly for four, three, two, one. We're going to do one last time on your own. When you're ready, begin. Keep a relaxed. Inhalation 
our last exhalation. And slowly, when you're ready, start rolling your neck. Keeping the jaw relaxed and keeping your shoulders down. Pause when you get to be facing down. Take a moment there and go back to check your spine. How are you holding your spine? How are you holding the core? Are you relaxing your lower back? And when you're ready, slowly still rolling your neck towards your other direction. And pause with your right ear close to your right shoulder. Stay there. Relax the shoulders. Relax the masses of the face. And inhale and exhale. And slowly move your head towards your other shoulder. Left one, towards your left side, and stay here. Slowly go back to the facing down. Inhale, bring your head neutral, facing forward. And from there, you're going to move towards looking over your right shoulder. So you're feeling a gentle stretch on the side of the neck. And moving towards your other shoulder. Slow and relax. Stay looking over the right one, both shoulders down. Check how you're holding your spine. And now slowly look over your left shoulder and stay here. Go back to your center, inhale, raise your arms, visualize your fingers, we're going to start with the side stretching. Try to relax the spine, the shoulders. And start moving with your spinal circles. Inhaling and exhaling. Pass in, in the front, just change the direction. And 
it's passive with your hands in the front, keep your spine rounded and relax the head back and down. As you inhale, raise your hands over the head, over the chest, over the shoulders. Exhale, hands in the front and round it. And go again. Inhale, open, exhale, round it. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Two more times. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Pause with your hands over the head. And let's go with a gentle twist. So cross your hands, left one over the right knee, and look over the right shoulder and stay here. Coming back to the center, inhale, raise your arms and exhale, twist towards the other side. Let's go again, inhale, raise your arms, exhale, twist. And one more time, inhale, and one more time, exhale. Now keep your hands on top of your knees, facing forward, and start circling the spine. And try to feel that if possible, the hip bones are not lifting too much. Try to feel your sitting bones grounded all the time while doing this. Change the direction. All right, pause with your hands on your knees, round it on the spine, relax your head. Come back with your spine neutral, interlacing fingers behind the back. Bring your elbows straight and start looking up to the top. Now here as we are, just bring your feet in the front and keep your knees together. Still try to bring your elbows straight behind the back so if you can lift your chest. Maybe your hands can be resting on the mat, but just try to do not let go of the spine support, right? Try to keep your chest lifted. So you roll your shoulders all the way behind you. Good, and release it. Keep your feet in the front. I'm just gonna go like this. If it is not too uncomfortable, keep it in the trying to place the soles of your feet down and keeping your knees together as we inhale in a big arm circle. Inhale, lift, and exhale, open. So I'm going to go back on the side, but you can stay right there. We start engaging the core, so our spine is nice and long. But let's try to do not hyper arch. We're going to look in arch in the spine. We keep in neutral. So that's why the core is, is involved. Inhale when you're raising your arms over your head. Exhale when you're lowering. All right, one more time. We're going to pause with the hands in the front. We're going to reverse the direction of the move of the circle. If at any moment you feel your legs get a little bit tired or maybe you start getting uncomfortable on the hips area, of course you can relax them, right? Otherwise, we try to keep them there. Alright, one more time. Stay with your hands over the head and just move your wrist there in circles. Keep activating your core to hold the spine. So open your arms like in a T. And now you're gonna do your tiny shoulder circles here. 
We're still trying to press with the feet down, so we're still feeling the groundedness from the soles of your feet. And change the direction of your arm circles. All right, pass the hands down. Still keep your chest lifted. And now see if you can bring your feet slightly closer to the hips. We're going to relax the hips while open and come back to bring them together. Separate your knees and then bring your knees back together. So the only thing also we're gonna check is that we are not store sinking into the shoulders. You want to keep your chest lifted. Good, inhale as the second knees. Exhale together. Two more times. All right, keep your legs, your knees separate. Now you're gonna grab from the heels and you're gonna to try to bring your heels closer to the hips or to the pelvis. So now we're gonna start moving up and down with the knees, the famous or well-known butterfly move. And try to feel again, your hip bones grounded, your spine nice and long, your core holding. All right, pass it there. We're going to inhale forward, exhale round it. Go ahead and side. Inhale, use your elbows to press a little bit on the knees. Exhale, round it in the spine. Inhale, chest forward, and exhale round. Inhale, exhale, two more. Good, a couple more here. Inhale, one more. Release. So now you're gonna bring your feet down on the ground and close to the top of your mat. Keep your feet as wide as the mat. We put it all the way there to stand up. So put all the way on your feet, forward, forward. And then start rocking the hips side to side. You can hug your elbows and relax the head and relax the shoulders. Pausing here in the center, keep your hips neutral. And now alternate your knees. So bend one knee and then the other one. And the same again, one and one. Allow your head to be hanging, shoulders and arms relaxed. And now keeping both in slightly bent, keep your heavens neutral. Feel the soles of your feet grounded. Like try to feel that you're not holding more weight on your heels or on your toes. See if you can keep it in the center. And just allow your torso to rock side to side with a gentle swim, leaving your head hanging here. Pulsing in the center again. Move with one last gentle walking back and forth. Transferring the body weight to the heels and to your toes without lifting any part of your feet. So try to feel that your feet are not lifting from the ground and you're just feeling the body weight moving from the heels to your toes and from your toes to the heel. Like positive in the center. Allow your arms to hang and slowly roll the spine up. Slowly, slowly. 
slowly try to put weight on the feet, engage the legs, bring the way back, the glutes, and bring your feet closer like hip distance wide, arms on the side, to your mountain pose. You can keep your eyes closed or open. Try to feel what is from the soles of your feet. Relax the muscles of your face. Inhale and exhale in your mountain pose. And now slowly, if your eyes are closed, gentle open your eyes. It's gonna be better for the next move. We're going to inhale, lifting our heels, bringing all the weight into your toes. Keep your toes, raise your arms. Allow your toes also to get wide open on the ground. Like you wanna grab the floor with your toes. And exhale, lower slowly, slowly, slowly until your heels touch the mat. So check it out that you're not letting go too much of your body. As we're going up, you shouldn't be arching. Your body should be all supported from the glutes to the core to the back, chest neutral. That's the way that we grow. So when you're ready, lift the heel. Imagine a straight line now from like the middle toe through the legs, hips, shoulders, front of your head. And your next exhalation, slowly, slowly we lower until your heels get in contact with your mat. Inhale, let's go again. When you exhale, slowly, slowly we lower. And one, we're going to do it one more time. Inhale, so lifting, 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 and we'll bring it up. And exhale, lower slowly. Okay, we're going to pause here, and now we're going to do one at a time, but just using the weight from the head. Okay, so lift one with weight and then your other one. So now the goal is different. You just want to, to get your toes wide open and a nice stretch from the back of your, of the sole of your foot. You put a lot of weight, but the just feels comfortable. Passing, we're gonna bring one foot to the top. So switch, bring the top. With a tiny bit of weight, bend in both knees. Keep your core holding the spine, right? We're not letting our, our bum get out of the line. Everything neutral. Release the weight and let's switch with your other foot. So bring the top of your foot behind you. Bend both knees and then you see how much you want to put weight on, right? Release it. We're going one more time with the first foot. To the top. Hips neutral. Your glutes engage a little bit. Stable on the legs, stable on the core. Release it. And one last time. All right, now come back here. Give a little shake to the legs. We're going to start with our sun salutations. We're going to do three with our knees down in our chaturanga and three with our plum from the chaturanga. But remember, you can always keep doing it in the way that your body works right now. So feel as well as the hips, engage the leg muscles, glutes, core, Spine neutral, chest and thorax relaxed, 
arms on the side in mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. If you had any intention from the beginning of the class, we need it. Out of your mind. And if not, the purpose is to feel grounded. We have practice how about to feel centered, feel grounded, feel balanced. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. And we begin. So when you're ready, inhale, lifting your arms, looking up into your thumbs. Exhale, the work fall. Inhale, halfway with your spine straight. And exhale and reach the mat. Walk to your thumbs. And we're gonna lower first the knees and then your chest all the way down. Inhale to your cobra to warm up the spine. Exhale, lower and go all the way up into your down dog. So we stay in here for three deep breathings. If you feel that you need to bicycle your legs while you're here, go for it as it is our first down dog of the day. Two more deep breathings. And one more breathing in. On your exhalation, moving forward, step or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale it halfway. Exhale four. And inhale and raise all the way to stand up. You can add with your thumbs. Sound steady. Two more like that. Inhale it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands down on your mat. Walk to your floor. Lower your knees and lower your chest. Inhale, little cobra. Exhale, down dog. If you need to keep bicycle the legs, go for it. Otherwise, see if you can bring your heels down. Three deep breathings. Press strongly with your arms, with your hands. Two deep breathings. And one more inhalation. On your exhalation, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale halfway and exhale forward fold. Inhale and raise to stand up quickly towards your thumbs. Down One more time like this. Inhale up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway with your spine. And exhale with your mat. Walk to your plank. Lower the knee and lower your chest. Go all the way down. Inhale, little cobra. Exhale, down dog. Stay here. Three deep breaths in your down dog. Two deep breathings, engage your leg muscles. And one more inhalation. On your exhalation, looking forward, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale full. And inhale, raise. Now we start with our plums from the Chaturanga. Inhale up and exhale lower. Inhale halfway. Exhale hands down. Walk to your plank. If you're ready, we're going to lower from the plank. Your elbows are high in the ribs. And inhale. 
raise into your up dog. Exhale into your down dog. We are just your feet if you need it. Engage your leg muscles, your glutes. Four, three, deep breathing. Two, deep breathing. And one more breath in. On your exhalation, looking forward, bring your body weight right to the hands in a step or walk. Inhale halfway. Exhale full. And inhale raise. Arms over the head, thumbs between. Two more like that. Inhale and up. And exhaling down. Inhale it halfway. Exhale with your mat and walk to your plank. Lower with your elbows high in the ribs. Inhale, lift your chest and lift your thighs if you can for your up dog. Exhale into your down dog. We adjust the feet and stay here. Relax the head, triceps in. Almost like if you want to show your, your biceps forward. <laughs> Inhale and exhale, three deep breaths. And two. One more. On your exhalation. Looking forward, bring the weight closer to the hands and stay to the top. Inhale in halfway, exhale four. And inhale, raise to stand up, arms over the head, thumbs between. The last one, inhale in up, and exhale lower. Inhale halfway. Exhale, reach your mat. Walk to your plank. Lower with your elbows high in the ribs. Inhale, lift the chest if you can lift the thighs. And exhale down. Stay here. Inhale and exhale. Two more breathings. One more breath in. And on your exhalation, you can stay or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale four. And inhale, raise arms over the head. Um, inhale and exhale in your mountain pose. Engage the glutes, support the spine. I'm going to turn to the sprint so you can see, but you're going to stay right there as you are. So you're going to put weight into your left foot and you're going to raise your right one hugging the knee to the chest. While we're here, just try to feel rooted on the soles of your left foot. Check that you're not leaning into the side of the head. If you do, just bring it in neutral. So you try to grow in a line all the way down. We're gonna keep this leg that you're holding straight forward. We're gonna engage the quadriceps on the toes Hands on the hips, hold it. Inhale and exhale. Bend this knee back into your chest, hold it. We're making it our tree pose. So you're gonna open the knee, you're gonna use your hand and bring it closer to the pelvis. Engage the glutes. Once your foot can be resting, hips forward. 
And if you're ready, if you want to, hands can be all the way over the head. Or it can be also in your prayer, can be right here in front of you. And have an exhale. Slowly lower the hands. Go back to hug this knee in the front. We're gonna reverse the move. Go back to extend the hands on the hips. Point the toes and slowly down. So once you get here, give a little shake to both. Relax from the hip as we're going to do it with your other one. All right, so let's put weight into the right one, and the left one comes close to the chest. When you're ready, take your time, focus your eyes on something that is helping you to hold the balance. Squeeze the glutes of your base leg. Check that you're not leaning into the side. Feel from the middle of your foot, through your leg, through your chest, and the crown of your head is a straight line. Extend this leg. Point the toes, hold it. All right, bend the knee. We bring it in into your tree pose. Slowly use your hand, bring the heel close to the pelvis. Keep the knee wide open. Mm -hmm. Once you find a good balance, you place your hands where it can be. Here it can be your prayer hands and we have a big tree over the head. Slowly lower your hands first and then you bring this knee in the front. Extend, point, hold it. Slowly down and give it a shake. All right, so I'm gonna be back here like you. We're going to get into our chair pose. So feet can distance wide. As you inhale, you raise your arms over the head. You sit in your imaginary chair. You need to engage a lot of the glutes, hamstrings and quads. Check that your head bones are kind of neutral. They are not hyperarching, neutral there. If you feel it's too hard here, you can always stay higher. But if you can go lower, we go lower. Hands together, spread your toes. Start bringing your feet close to each other so your feet and your knees are touching and twist, so left elbow crossing the right knee, twisting, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Good, one more breath in. All right, come back to your center, forward fold, extend the legs, take a little break. Inhale and exhale. We're sitting again into our chair, bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, hands together, cross your other elbow and twist towards your other side. All right, looking forward, forward fold, relax. Separate your feet as wide as the mat. Grab your elbows and allow your spine to walk it side to side. Relax the head, relax the shoulders. Pausing here in the center. We're going to get into our malasana squat. So check that your heels are slightly in, the toes slightly pointing out. As you inhale, bring the spine halfway, engage your glutes. 
As you exhale, lower, bending the knees, hips low, lift the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold, extending your knees. Then let's go again. Inhale, lower the hips. Exhale, forward fold. Try to feel the soles of your feet grounded all the time. So when you're lowering the weight, go slightly more on the heel than on the toes. And forward fold. Let's go again. Combine a few times, follow your breathing, open the chest. Exhale. And exhale. The next one we're staying down the normal asana squat. Chair the level that is going to be comfortable for your knees and your hips. If we can hold it right here, hands together, lift the chest. Remember, if your heels lift, you will need to stay higher so that it doesn't happen. Okay, we're going to lower slowly to sit into our bow pose. So if you think you can transition it without the hands, slowly start bringing your toes facing forward as you lower the heads and bring your feet up. Otherwise, you place your hands down first. Inhale and exhale with the chest. All right, now we're gonna help ourselves with our hands most likely. As we're gonna bring the feet down, you can watch me first. Use your hands to put the weight on the feet. Forward fold. So when you get here, roll to the side to side. Inhale and exhale. And we're gonna repeat that one more time. So from here, inhale it halfway. And exhale, bend the knees, lower the hips all the way down to seat into your boat. And now we go back to put the weight on the feet. We see if we can do it with our hands now. If you do, it will go straight here. Or remember, you can, you can absolutely use the hands. Forward, forward, forward. Walk to the side to side. Inhale, exhale. Good, let's inhale in halfway. And exhaling forward, fold, bring your right foot behind, and you want to spin to the side of the mat. So you're going to keep both feet wide open. Hands down, if you reach them down, and if not, you stay higher. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward, fold, and prasadita. This is a prasadita pose. Keep your hands on the floor to help you, but stretch and relax the neck, engage your leg muscles, engage your glutes, feel the feet rooted, grounded. Inhale and exhale. And as we are, inhale halfway. And exhale, it's all the way up, hands on your hips. So now you're gonna point your toes slightly out again, just to follow the, the knee line. So it's almost that like we're getting into a goddess pose for a moment. Inhale and exhale. 
and I start putting weight into the right foot, oh, sorry, into one foot and then into the other one. It doesn't have to go too low on the hips. It's just like a nice transition towards one side and the other. Spine and glutes neutral, holding. Right here, knees wide open if you can. Leg muscles super engaged. And both feel, feet grounded. Any moment we are going to be, we are not going to be the knee capacity the toes. All right, time. Okay, you're going to stay. You're going to stay towards your right one, the core, this one. Mm -hmm. And there, the left toes are gonna point to the side, almost like if you wanna get in a warrior tool towards the right side. But instead of going to the warrior, the hand goes all the way down. So right hand all the way down in front of the right foot. And the left one goes all the way over the head. It's almost like a side angle, yeah, to the back of your mat. Inhaling, coming back to your center, you're gonna lift the chest, and now you're gonna make your warrior two to the front of the mat, towards the screen, towards your left side. So we're gonna repeat on this other side, okay? We adjust your feet position if you need it. So your back foot should be pressing down with your heel on the side of the foot. Left knee bend, left hand down in the front of your left foot. Right one over the head. So now your hand should be going towards your screen, or towards me. Right, slowly lower, but we're gonna go so it's completely this left side. So we're gonna rotate it, the back head. So you're gonna lift the back heel, head down, hands down, one on each side. Inhale and exhale. And from here we lift into our down dog. When you get into your down dog, separate your feet as well as the mat, roll the head side to side. Pause it in your center, bring your feet together. Bend the knees, like if you wanna bring your quadriceps close to your stomach, and you're putting weight in the tippy toes as you're pressing strongly with your hands, arms straight and strong. Check it out that the lower back is not arching, your core is engaged, it's almost like you're tucking your tailbone in. Child today. And yet the heels are lifted from the mat. And now as we are, separate the knees as well as the mat and lower. Lower, lower, lower. Still keep your tippy toes down. And there you sit on your heel. So allow the toes to open. Relax your arms down and your forehead down in the mat. We're gonna move our feet in a moment. So if you don't feel them super uncomfortable, stay there and allow the soles of your feet to open. And now slowly release the weight, bring the top of your feet. Before taking a break, bring on your knees together. Sit on your heels, like sit with your spine straight, hands down. We're gonna lift the right knee along the top of your right foot to stretch. 
You're using your hands for help. So you lift as much as it feels comfortable for you, as long as your knee is not in pain for the pressure. Lower and switch to your left one. Lower and now separate the knees as well as the mice and relax completely your torso and your child pose. The wide knees relax, expand your head, your shoulder. Allow your stomach to be relaxed and between your legs. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release. Slowly left and pass one arm under. Gentle twist, relax the back muscles, the left shoulder, stay here. Inhale, left to switch towards your other shoulder, your other side, and stay here. Inhale, lift slowly, and now we're going to get into our Shavasana. So, we need to drink water, and if you need to do it, you can do it. Otherwise, we lean into our back. And allow your legs to rest in any way you prefer now. So, you can always leave your feet as wide as the mat, and your knees falling into each other. Or legs relaxed down, or feet together and knees apart if you want to work more on the hips area. Whatever works for you now, we're going to take a moment here. Allow your body to fully rest. Bringing your attention to your breathing only.
Take a better relax, sit here. If you have your personal intentions for the practice, bring it back into your mind, your thoughts. Take a deep breath into the nose. Exhale, release. When you're ready, slowly start wiggling your toes and your fingers. Stretch, you want to stretch, or just listen, listen to your body and try to go slow, like you're doing just waking up. Your knees and breath feels good for you. And roll into one side, but we're going to pause there, close for a moment. Bend your knees, relax your head, use your arm as a pillow. Help yourself with your hands to sit. Take a moment here in the sitting position. You close your chest, go back to your breathing. Relax the muscles of your face. Feel your sitting bones grounded. And bring your intention for one last time. Maybe keep that intention for the whole day. May our practice help us to feel grounded and balanced. Find our balance. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, release through the mouth. And let's do one last inhalation together. Rest your arms over the head. Bring the palms together in front of your heart. Being thankful for all the blessings that we have. Namaste.